Okay, Jack, uh, it's coming in, and it's right in the center of our screen. Okay, Vance, uh, uh, can you, uh, think you can guess what that might be, uh, Vance? Better than Charlie? I don't want to start flipping coins at this point. Okay, Vance, we're pointed uh, just a little ways off from looking directly at the moon. Uh, Jim is holding the camera through window three. The sun is coming at about uh, 40 degrees off our left side. And what uh, we're going to show you in just a minute is uh, about 30 seconds of wastewater dump show you just what it looks like. It's uh, really fantastic. Okay. We'd like to see that. We saw uh, some droplets uh, speeding out for a little while, Jack. Now we don't see anything. Actually, uh, Vance, what you're looking at is uh, solid uh, water droplets coming out just about uh, all the time. It lights up the whole uh, sky around the moon. Uh, it's just probably too fine for you to see. Now I think they come out a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, we see those. Fido says he can understand why that would perturbate his trajectory now. It's amazing watching these uh, frozen droplets maneuver. Uh, they seem to go in all directions. But finally, after they get out a certain way, settle down, and they all seem to be traveling in about the same direction. Right, that's uh, coming in real well. We can just barely see those parts of the limb. They must be in a shadow. Okay, now you're looking at a uh, thruster quad at the lower part of your screen. I've got the uh, F stop all the way uh, open now, man. That's uh, quad. Uh, Quad one you're looking at uh, with the limb uh, should or the moon should be in view uh, just over the top of the quad. Hmm. All right, we see the uh, the nozzle of the quad, but it's uh, dark and it's uh, not easy to see. Uh, 13 Houston, ENCO suggests you try average if you're in peak to see if that gives us a better picture. Okay, we're in average now.
think that helped out. We can see it better. Okay, flight, we, we shouldn't leave it there too long. Okay, now 13 requests you either move it away from the uh, <clears throat> the bright area or else uh, move it back to peak. Over. about the same, Fred, and you're a little weak now in the comm. We could see when you went back to peak. Uh, do you have your uh, grid down there, man? Uh, that's negative, Fred. I don't know if you can uh, make out the pieces there, man, on the moon, but it uh, looks like the Terminators are the uh, central uh, plane there is somewhere around uh, Descartes, maybe. Okay, we're, we see it just as a, a bright uh, portion of the lunar disk, and uh, it looks a lot like you see it from Earth, uh, very bright. We're unable to see any features at all. Minus six minutes to go. All 
Roger, minus six minutes. Uh, understand you're about ready to turn on the gimbal motors and all that sort of thing. Okay, we see the computer now in the upper middle part of the, the panel. I think we see somebody's checklist in the center couch. Must be uh, Jim holding the checklist. Right then, uh, what Jim's holding now, he's got a, a pen in his hand with rigged on a string. Uh, uh, it's sort of a uh, simple-minded uh, accelerometer. This burns pretty short. And I'm not sure uh, even that's going to show very much, uh, but we'll see if it'll uh, stretch out at the end of its string. Yeah, we see the pencil at the uh, uh, top of the picture floating around. And Jack's coming into view now. And I've gone back. Okay, I've gone back to average now, and uh, that's how the picture. Roger. Alan, uh, a few minutes advance, I guess we'll uh, see how about the only uh, system we hit and uh, used yet uh, works. Everything else sure has worked uh, mighty fine. Right, spacecraft's really working nicely. Okay, we're picking up uh, panel two now. Still a little bit of the checklist. your your testing of the caution and warning system at the uh, left hand side of the panel on our TV it's 
see the lights all uh, flash on. You're doing it again. Mission timer is showing up as a uh, brilliant green in the upper left-hand part of the picture. Uh, Roger. I got the camera kind of canned on you here, man. Vance, uh, Jim's going to go to box now. Vance, how do you Roger. Uh, read you loud and clear, Jim. Okay, well, uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll be in a box for the remainder of the, uh, burn, uh, pre burn countdown. So why don't you go? Uh, what we're waiting for is, uh, 54 minutes on our counter, or 2 0, which would be, uh, minus 6. Jim, we hear clipping on your Vox. Uh, could you adjust it so that you're coming in continuously all the time? Okay, stand by one. One, two, three, four, five. How's that, Jim? Okay, that's better. How do you read the CMP on Vox? Jack, read you loud and clear. Uh, is that too close, Lance, or can you make out the uh, FPS uh, engine panel now? We, we can see your uh, fuel and oxidizer gauges and hydrogen and oxygen gauges at the top of the picture and the pugs, but it isn't coming in in focus too well. It's a little dim. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm about at two feet that uh, doesn't go down but to four. Uh, we understand that's the panel right in front of your face. Okay, uh, we'll stand by for the uh, main. Okay, we're minus seven minutes. Roger.
that the focus is good enough that we can see the position of your four ball valves at the top of the picture for the big uh, SBS engine. 